Earlier, David, you showed us how you got to make macarons. But recently, I got a chance to make science. And for some people, science doesn't really sound like that much fun. But I got a chance to visit a place where it really is. And the kids there really showed me a thing or two. Look at what you can learn, too, at the Science Center Lab. <laughs> the Citizen Science Lab is a nonprofit organization in the Hill District that gives many underrepresented kids in the area an opportunity to learn life sciences in a real, hands-on manner. We work with students from Pittsburgh Public Schools, some private schools in the area, and also we do homeschooled workshops, and we also host some after-school programming. We also have opportunities for um, just people in the community to come and participate in science. I mean, it's something that we are all excited about, so we want the community to be excited about it, too. They also say what makes this lab so special is that they make science fun. You're not just sitting there listening to someone speak. We may go over a few things at the beginning of a lesson, um, but then when it gets down to it, we really let the kids or whoever we're teaching do it all themselves. I mean, they're extracting their own DNA, they're shooting their own rockets. You're gonna get as much dry ice as you want. And once we filled our tubes with dry ice, we launched our rockets. Three, two, one, go! Ah! Woo! Woo! Okay, get your gloves here. Wyatt's one of our homeschoolers, and every week he comes in with this gigantic smile on his face. Works better. The other way? Yeah. He's always ready to participate in whatever we have to do, and even if he's not so sure about something, he's willing to try it because he's in an environment where he feels comfortable trying it. Super cool, awesome For the second experiment of the day, we looked at tiny predators and prey. The prey we're gonna use today is Daphnia. You can just gently squirt him in there. Oh, Daph, oh wait. Daphne, he's still breathing. He's still good. I also got a chance to visit with some of the lab's resident pets. This is Severus. He is our ball python. Uh, he's still a baby, uh, so when he is full grown, he'll be between five and six feet long. I think he's one of the coolest guests we've had on PTL so far. <laughs> He's very gentle. I've never held a snake before. Yes. Speaking of gentle, this gentle giant loves spending every Friday at the lab. This Friday, it's more DNA research. Okay, now eject your plate so the machine will move with our DNA that we're interested in. We did a DNA analysis lab. So we took cheek cells and then we ran PCRs on them to try and figure out where you came from. Hopefully today I get to find out where my ancestors came from. It's a community organization. It's open to everyone. So like at our school, we don't have big enough classrooms to run labs. So it's pretty cool that we get to come here and do labs on Fridays after school. For me, it's really important to be able to give back in some way. And I can't think of a more rewarding and humbling experience than giving back to kids in my community because they're the future. That is so cool, and I'm so impressed you held that snake. Oh, well, I, I would not have done it. I couldn't let a little kid show me up, so I had to hold it. Well done, Mikey. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks to the Citizen Science Lab for sponsoring our visit. Next visit, we'll show you how they're teaching kids and adults about drones. They also offer summer camp weekend workshops, even homeschooling. And in order to bring this program to Pittsburgh, Duquesne University and Urban Innovation 21 came together because they wanted to see the need to really encourage STEM education among young people here in the city. Yeah, very important. And they're having so much success with this first location in the Hill District. They're opening a second one in the South Hills. They do offer a monthly membership and even scholarships to qualifying students. And we have more info for you at our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.